Greetings, Pastor Mike here from Community Congregational Church, Southern Pines, North Carolina. I read a devotion today from Pastor Greg Laurie that blew my mind, and I want to share it with you. Um, Greg Laurie wrote that most American homes today have a Bible, but ironically, fewer than half of American adults can name the four Gospels. In a survey about Americans' knowledge of the Bible, most participants could name all four Beatles, but they couldn't name one of the Ten Commandments. Come on, you got to be able to name, I, I can understand not being able to name all ten, but you know, you should get at least four or five of the commandments uh, in a quiz like that. It gets worse than that. One in ten people thought Moses was one of Jesus' twelve apostles. Twelve percent of American adult adults thought that Joan of Arc was Noah's wife. And 50% of graduating high school seniors thought Sodom and Gomorrah were husband and wife. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> um, so many Americans own a Bible, but they don't read it. Or if they read it, they don't comprehend it. And the number one reason, according to Greg Laurie, that people give for not reading the Bible is they don't prioritize it. Even if they read it, they read it without really comprehending it. And, you know, not surprisingly, the Bible has the answer to that. We talk about the answer book all the time uh, that I had made for the kids. The Bible uses the word meditate. And it has nothing to do with the Eastern version of meditation that we think of. But the Bible meaning of meditation is to ponder and to consider. So it's not enough to go through the Word of God the Word of God needs to go through us. It's, it's, not a, it's not how you mark your Bible, it's how your Bible marks you. We need to let God's Word impact our lives. So back to the answer book. This is a book I made because no matter what question I ask the kids, the answer's in this book. God, Jesus, prayer, faith, Holy Spirit, the Bible itself should be one of the answers. But at the end, there's a prayer, and it relates to this devotion from Greg Laurie. It says, Dear God, thank you for giving us an answer book, the Bible. Help us to remember to use it. So God's given us the answers already. Uh, but apparently most of us don't understand that. So uh, I realize I'm probably preaching to the choir here, but we need to be aware that this is how people take this. And I want to read that last paragraph again from Greg Laurie. It isn't enough to go through the Word of God. The Word of God needs to go through you. It isn't how you mark your Bible. It's how your Bible marks you. So let God's Word impact your life. Thanks be to God for that. Let's say a quick prayer. Gracious God, help us to do just that. Help us to not just go through your Word, but help your Word to go through us, to mark us, to to change us, to mold us into who you want us to be. Thank you for giving us the answer book. Help us to remember to use it, to pull it out and use it. We give you thanks in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Stay safe, everybody. Stay healthy. Be kind. Love you.